What's that stretch like for you guys? It was a crazy game. We just didn't quit. We you know, keep fighting. And um, man, give a lot of credit to, to Golden State. They were playing great, making crazy shots. Uh, Curry was making crazy shots. And uh, we just tried to hang in there. And um, you know, we had a great run at the end. It's just hard to explain when you're in the middle of it. It's just everything's going fast. And it was a crazy comeback. And uh, happy we got the win. You played the Bono a long time. When you saw him with the ball up there at the end, how was. I guess nothing he does surprise yeah, you good. after all these years. No, no, it didn't surprise me. It looked good when he left his hand. Uh, so I was happy he was out wide open. And, you know, they came, they both came to me and Manu was open. So I was, I was kind of surprised when they both came to me and Manu knocked down a big shot. What about that long three he took before the what was going through? Yeah, I will let him talk with Pop on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, how demoralizing do you think this has to be for Golden State? It's just one win, you know. Uh, they play great, and I'm sure they, they're very positive and, and think they can steal one here. So uh, it'd be uh, very scary for our team if we think you know it, it's going to be easy. I think this game showed that they're for real, and they're a very good team, and it's going to be a battle. How big was the battle with uh, Thompson like out there? Yeah, he's a pretty good defender. Huh? He makes it tough on me. Uh, because I have to play def uh, defense on Curry, and then I have to <laughs> play attack on Thompson. So I spent a lot of energy, and uh, he did a good job. You know, the, the whole team doing a good job on my penetration and stuff like that. So I just try to, you know, alternate between taking jump shots and being aggressive, and you know, getting shots for my for my teammates. But, but once you fouled him, how, how much more free did you feel? Once he was but then I had Barnes, so it's another one. <laughs> Young guys are long arms, so it didn't matter. About Kawhi's defense on uh, Curry. Later. Yeah, Kawhi was huge. You know, we try to alternate. You know, between me and Danny and Kawhi, try to give him different looks and um, try to make it tough on him. Did you go with you and Corey and Danny more for the quickness rather than Kawhi's length? Early in the early going, well, you just try to do your, the best you can. You know, he's, he's a great shooter. Yeah. So um, I thought Kawhi, you know, in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter, did a great job on him. Any length really bothered him? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Tony, can you talk about as far as the composure of you guys just not giving up and just on our steady? Yeah. Until got, a, got a lot of veteran, you know, on the team, and we didn't panic, and uh, we just kept fighting. And what can we expect? Again? <laughs> another one, another one like that. They, they for real. They, they're a very, very good team, and it's going to be another tough, tough one. And tough about as far as your attack mode down the end. It looked like you took a lot of that. I was, I was just trying to be aggressive. You know, uh, just try to, you know, try to get the tempo up. And uh, you know, they have a good half court defense, so I was just trying to push it. And I was still on that comeback mode. You know, so I just stayed aggressive in overtime. And as far as you guys being off for so long prior to coming into this game. Rusty, that's for sure, especially in the first half. But that's no excuse, you know. It's everybody. It happens. Yeah, I mean, you know, I didn't know what to expect. Now, you know, Chago was uh, Chago being down right now when it was a place to be filled. But uh, yeah, I didn't know. I mean, last time I played was about a month ago. Uh, when when Tim went went out in the fourth, uh, with feeling ill or whatever, uh, uh, did you figure you were gonna you were gonna go to the finish? Yeah, but I didn't think it was going to two overtime. Uh, I thought the finish was, uh, you know, at the end of the game, regular time. So um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, you know, felt bad that Jimmy couldn't even finish the game, and you know, being that sick. Uh, you, your contribution, uh, you know, setting up offense, making making shots, uh, spacing the floor, getting rebounds. Uh, did it take you a while to get back into that mode of? having a rhythm and being able to do those things? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, you know, um, my teammates have been uh, in the playoff for uh, for about two weeks, two weeks and a half now, so they, they got the rhythm. Uh, they were ready and, you know, me at first just coming back, just trying to not disrupt the team and the momentum that they had, you know, winning those first four games and, uh, and um, you know, felt at some point um, needed to do maybe a little extra. Morris, that uh, run at the end of the fourth quarter where you guys uh, came back from that huge deficit, what was different? In what happened? What changed for you? Well, just staying with it. Uh, you know, uh, never give up. Um, we were down. It was not that many minutes left, but we know we could do it. We know we could come back. It just will take some stops. What we actually were trying to do the whole game. Uh, we knew that was the, the problem, uh, giving them too many open shots. And then we just, you know, did a, did a better job. We, we just uh, work harder at it, I guess. When 
Thompson fouled out, do you think that renders Curry a little less effective not having Thompson out there with Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, of course, you know, Curry is great, but they, it's all team. Uh, you know, I think it, they, if they here right now, it's because they've been playing great together all year. And, uh, and they, uh, they count on each other, uh, you know, to make plays, to space the floor. And, you know, having uh, one, one less uh, great shooter to worry about was definitely a little easier on the team. On, on the play where Manu made the three, you looked like you were wide open under the basket as well on that play. Uh, but it was one guy guarding us, so pretty much. So you had, a, you had to make a choice, either he was staying with me or going to Manu. And so he hung out with me a little bit until he saw Manu wide open and then ran over there. So, um, But I wasn't open until until Manu got the ball. Do you just expect that even when Manu's had a, a, a rough shooting night and, and missed, a, missed a tough three a little before that, uh, that, that when he takes a, takes a shot for the game on the line, he's going to make it? He's a great shooter. He's got great confidence. Uh, you know, the whole team got great confidence in him. So uh, when he's going to take a shot, and some's going to go in, some not. But glad this one did. Uh, the shot at the end of regulation. Um, you know, we uh, made a, a good play. Pop drew up a good play. We executed pretty good. Boris had a good screen you know, on my man and his own man. And, um, you know, I got free. And uh, luckily it dropped. You sort of, sort of, re, you know, uh, got back in your in your three point mode tonight, uh, which had been missing for a little while. Mm -hmm. uh, feel good? Definitely. Um, you know, we're moving the ball a little bit more. Uh, we needed it, but we were low on energy. Uh, our rhythm was a little out, out of sync. Our rotations weren't what they they should have been. You know, we were supposed to be on the string defensively, we were trying to help each other. Um, Timmy was a little sick. You know, Tony wasn't his normal Tony self in the first half. He played really well in that, that fourth quarter, brought us a lot of energy. And, uh, you know, we needed big plays from, from anywhere. And luckily, I was able to knock down a couple shots. Manu hit a couple shots. Uh, Kawhi made some big plays. You know, everybody from Boris, from, you know, from starters to on down the last man on the bench, we made some big plays. What was the mindset during that the final, you know, final four minutes of the fourth quarter? Talking amongst yourselves and timeouts and whatever. We were just, you know, keep fighting. Let's see what happens. That was that was the the mindset. You know, we have nothing to lose. We, we've been down before, so it was, wasn't a big deal to us. But um, obviously, it was a lot more than we would have liked. But you know, we just said so we want to keep fighting. Just keep fighting. Keep chipping away. And you never know what's going to happen. We'll see what happens. And next, thing you know, with a minute to go, we had ourselves in the game. Stops and stretch. Face with some dumb fouls, especially on my part. Yeah, you know, that's what it comes down to. It wasn't off. I think shot great. He made great plays. He just didn't stop trying to stretch. Some, somewhat reminiscent of the game six against Denver. Why, why do you think these last two games have been so difficult for you to close out? Well, we knew they were going to make a run, and we just had to, they didn't stop bleeding quick enough. And I mean, they made um, two good plays at the end of the game. They, you know, we like hit a big shot and then sort of modern. Uh, we can't let him get that wide open number. I mean, he still takes our first game. Um, still on a mission. He's going to come out here with a win. Pretty tough on uh, home court as well. But um, just one of these things. And we've got to forget about tomorrow. We can't, you know, we're good enough to beat this team. How do you forget about something like this on 48 hours? <laughs> uh, Watching it should be easy, I mean, because the beautiful thing about this league is just, you know, redemption. And, you know, they have an 18-point lead. We got to, you know, take care of the ball and get stops. But we're going to redeem ourselves on Wednesday. And um, I think we're as good as not better on this team. I mean, we got to make a run. We just got to do that too on Wednesday. How frustrating was it for you personally to have right now? It's probably the hardest thing in the world to sit there and watch, especially when you know me out there fighting the game. And, and yeah, it was tough. I mean, I made some dumb fouls and just got to play a little less aggressive with my hands. And overall, I thought I was playing good defense, but I just got uh, the team say I got to you know, be smarter with my hands and not foul as much.
I mean, no, you don't want to just speak in the, the heat of the moment. Um, you know, but it goes back to the old saying, you know, whether you lost by one, whether you lost by 20, it's just one game. And I think it's very, very important that we, you know, for our young guys, we show that we can compete with this team. You know, uh, obviously we got to do a better job of closing out games, um, especially when we have a team like them, uh, with the type of lead we had. And, uh, you know, we're kicking ourselves at the moment, but definitely still looking forward to winning. What else do you think the last couple of games made closing out so tough? I mean, I can't really call it. I mean, I don't really know if uh, shots just not going down. You know, uh, had a couple of times we done a stretch, but that wasn't really the thing that bothered us, I didn't think. And, uh, you know, just staying focused. You know, we can't get lax on, on the defensive end. I think that was probably our, our biggest fault tonight. And, uh, you know, like I said, we're still looking forward to winning. What happened on the uh, standing I, I don't know. I was guarding my guy when I turned around. I saw that he, uh, you know, he got a got a good look off. But, you know, I mean, that's what they do. You know, they do a good job of like, executing out a stretch. Coach Pop does a good job of drawing up late game situations, and you know, we got to do a better job of, uh, you know, being able to respond in those situations. Can you learn from them on what they did down the stretch? How they came back and and, and never gave up? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we we've done that as well in mean, situations or in times uh, during the season. Um, you know, they, they've done it for a long, long period of time. But, you know, like I said, we're still looking forward to Wednesday. Still thought we put up a va very valiant effort, effort uh, tonight. And uh, like I said, you know, man, no matter if you lose by 20 or 1, it's still one game. How do you guys physically regroup, you know, to double overtime, a lot of minutes for a lot of guys? How we'll be all right. We're, we're pretty young over here, so, you know, we're not – Worry about it physically. I'm sure if you told everybody that the game was tomorrow, I'm sure everybody would be chomping at the bit to get back on the court. So I doubt uh, that would be something we worry about. But definitely tomorrow, I'll probably you know, get a day's rest, watch a lot of film, and uh, try to make the necessary adjustments.